Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep watching, keep commenting, keep sharing. And please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I'll be more than glad to check it out. Um, find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, become friends with us. And we'll definitely say hi back. Find our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. And like I said, if there's anything you want me to react to, just give me the name or the link down below, and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. So today I'm going to be reacting to She Admits Her Magic Felt on Muslims. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Welcome to an eye-opening video. It's not the eyes that are blind, but it's our hearts. What's your understanding of black magic? Do you think it exists? Does it have any impact? We as Muslims know that it exists. It works. It's done for jealousy. It's done to cause separation between man and his wife. It's done for so many other evil reasons. It's selling Akira for a cheaper price worst deal and deed one can ever actually encounter. It's known as Seher in Arabic. I'm sure there's a word for it in every language. If you wonder where did this actually come up from, Quran tells us about it in Surah Baqarah verse 102. Ancient Babylon is very interesting to read and understand. All the magic that exists today somehow will go back to Babylon. There's zero benefit with black magic. Coming straight to the point, see this video. It made me speechless for a moment. Does it mean that it's more difficult to influence a person if he keeps his thoughts in purity? Yes, absolutely. When faced with various religions, it is very difficult to influence Muslims. They are in a constant connection with the aggregor. They do namaz every day and read prayers on a daily basis. They are constantly under some kind of a dome, so it is very difficult to influence them. When you start impacting a person, he begins to address in a prayer. Indeed, many of them are very different from those who come to church only when everything is bad in their life. They come to pray and then for five years they forget about God, some canons, and so on. Muslims, as a rule, passionately believe and passionately give energy to their egregor, and this egregor protects them very well. That's why it is very difficult to work to make any kind of influence on a true Muslim believer. Is this some kind of a good egregore? Well, for them, yes. This egregore is good for adepts who contribute good energy to it. How do you sense it? For instance, you have found an energy trace of such person. What's next? Do you try to drag him somehow to visualize this threat and you fail? Or how do you do that? It disappears. I cannot get a grip on it. I focus on it, but something immediately knocks me out of the flow, just like that. Or I visualize a person in front of me clearly, and can affect him even at a mental level, but some image is not created in my mind at all. I even look at a photo, reproduce an image, but it vanishes from my mind. Thus, I can clearly see that a person is covered with something. Does this only work with Muslims? It does for me. Subhanallah. Hana Hushneer, a Russian sorcerer, reveals her experience of practicing witchcraft on Muslims. The kind of contrast she mentioned, other faiths with Islam. We say Islam is true. We know it's the ultimate truth. How many of us actually live by it? Salah. Salah is the key. The moment you fix Salah, many things in your life get fixed. In fact, it fixes your entire life with knowledge and practice. Insha'Allah, the kind of protection it offers us from magic is told by this woman. Sometimes we are too lazy to pray or we are busy with the meeting, cooking food, all of a sudden it's Salah time. How are we looking at it? Consider it as a meeting, the most important meeting and pour your heart into it. Inshallah, declutter from dunya. 
it's not worth it o our salah subhanallah this video is a eye opener this is a non muslim woman saying it she's not going to get anything in return by manifesting the truth about our faith may allah guide her the dome she was talking about is the protection from allah defeat shaitan brothers and sisters if you fail and sin again repent your lord is the most merciful sadaqa avoids calamity similarly sala this is a priceless gift from our lord which is not just protection from magic it's rewarding it's the key to jannah so let's start praying may allah make us steadfast and keep us under his protection amen that's it for today brothers and sisters i hope you like the video let us know your thoughts in the comment section below we would love to hear from you hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell share this video with your family and friends until next time assalamu alaikum there's many things that people have to understand when it comes to black magic um why why are you comfortable with someone telling you they have these powers and they can give you some to conquer the world or whatever it is that you want those powers for um some these some of these things end in bad situations that pe people say that you always have to sell part of your soul for you to be able to hold that power and use it as you want to use it why would you want to sell your soul for what at what cost and um you want to conquer the world you want to maybe separate people you use black magic you want to get rid of someone in this world you use black magic for what reason and you're comfortable sleeping at night you're comfortable walking around this world knowing what you may have done caused in this world why if something is used to cause harm then it's just not it let it go i don't think it's worth it you know although I want to understand something what exactly are we defining black magic here to be are we defining it as something that uh, causes harm or anything that's beyond this world that may be used to even cause some sort of good because some people use it for the extremes you know are we also considering just uh, me picking up a certain root or me taking how can i put it certain roots to medicate myself because I know the use of that as bad as well as black magic or we're talking about the extremes that I don't even know what people do you know um it's interesting for someone to say it doesn't work on Muslims because look at their lifestyle constantly praying do they're doing their best to do good they do charity they do all these things but the fact that they speak to god more than once a day make time for that i don't think anyone can come to you lie to you and tell you otherwise because one as long as you make time with god as long as you have that faith with god as long as you have that trust that god can protect you of course you're going to be protected but then if you are those people that are easily persuaded you pray once every 10 years or 5 years as was said in the video then what do you think is going to protect you you know what do you think is going to remind you that there is something higher than someone who's trying to persuade you to believe in a certain thing it's all about power of the mind she believes her magic can work on people and if you the person who's visiting her believes that her magic is going to help you of course it's going to work you know but if you believe nope this is not it this won't work then no it won't work even if she believes that she can persuade you one way or another i highly doubt it's going to work it just doesn't work like that but if you're weak in faith you're gone if your trust is just something else you're gone and um strengthen your mind strengthen your relationship with god and see the wonders that uh, exist in this world see how protected you are in this world because it's as good as someone telling you you're dull once you believe those words that you're dull of course you become dull you will be dull be trust yourself enough to uh when someone tells you you can't do something 
trust yourself to know that you can as long as it's good you can as long as it benefits you you can no one else can take that away from you let me know what you guys actually think about this video otherwise i don't think people should be practicing black magic it's just not worth it who are you to tell me how my future is going to turn out who are you to give me the shortcut to riches while you yourself you're not um using that thing on yourself you know um let me know what you think if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video